So the double barrel overclock just got buffed in Deep Rock Galactic, which I never really thought I would say because this overclock hasn't been touched for a while, and it's basically been a punching bag of the community for just as long. With Deep Rock's most recent update to the Season 4 Experimental, they actually changed five overclocks to my knowledge, buffing all five of them. One of these was Double Barrel, a clean overclock for the Boomstick, which was widely considered the worst overclock in the game. What Double Barrel used to do is that every time that you shot the gun, you had to fire out both barrels, which is still what you have to do with this overclock, and previously it just gave you one point of damage. This got outcompeted by literally every other overclock that Double Barrel had. This was not as much damage as something like Stuff Shells and didn't come at the cost of you having to fire out two shots every time that you wanted to shoot the gun. It also got beat out by all of the other clean overclocks in their own respective ways and was not nearly as much damage as something like Jumbo Shells, which would be the main reason why you would want to go with this to do the highest amount of damage. So now the damage has been taken away from the double barrel and instead they gave it the Blast Wave damage, which Blast Wave is a very interesting mechanic that the double barrel has. What the Blast Wave does is deal damage to everything in a cone right in front of the double barrel. This is a 4 meter cone and now it has been increased by double. So you have 20 base shockwave damage, with this it goes up to 40, and then if you take the shockwave damage in tier 4, improved blast wave, then this makes it so the shockwave is even more damaging. So now it goes up to 80, and this is per shell, so 80 and 80, you get 160 damage directly in front of you. This is pretty interesting that they buffed the double barrel in general, and gave it an actual interesting mechanic. So we're going to be taking this on a has 5 mission. This is the build that I have set up for my double barrel. I'm running extra ammo in tier 1 and in tier 3 just so that we don't run through shells super quick. We're mostly going to be using this for crowd control. In tier 2 I'm going with the faster reload. There's no reason to take the uh, double trigger. It doesn't help this one at all since you have to fire out both shots every time. Improved blast wave in tier 4 like I mentioned. And phosphorus rounds in tier 5 so that we can light everything on fire as well if it didn't already die from the blast wave. For a primary weapon I'm going to be taking the GK2 with overclocked firing mechanism. Running full 2 build, very straightforward, just spray this at everything. And we are also going to be running the new skins. These are the infected skins for both the GK2 and for the Boomstick that will be coming in Season 4. And I think that they look pretty good. It's a compromise of adding a bayonet or adding like 8 bayonets. So this way you can shank them and shoot them. Just in case you didn't have enough options. Ooh. Man, this is an interesting start already. Get rid of uh, the spitballer real quick. Hmm. And yeah, I don't think I want to use the double barrel on that. Mostly, I want to be using the double barrel for things at very close range. So, yes, yeah, come down here, Praetorian. We're gonna blast you with this. Okay. And we'll light him on fire for good measure. That should kill him. Yeah, Bosco doesn't already. Huh. This is an interesting setup, too. Ah, oh, grunts. I think this is where Double Barrel is actually really going to shine. It's just on the fact that you can actually clear up grunt swarms with it pretty effectively now. As long as you're willing to get right up next to something. Which isn't too hard to do as Scout, as you can see. And stay relatively safe. Getting attacked by that spitballer. Ooh, there we go. Half the damage of a <laughs> goo bomber, and there goes the other half. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. I didn't think Double Barrel would get a buff at all in this season. I actually didn't know if they were going to be changing around any of the overclocks. Maybe more with the Sabata since it got the most changes. But it's really cool that they're addressing some other overclocks, and it's really cool that they're just buffing some. I think all of these were buffed because they have low pick percentages. Which makes sense. There was five in total with this latest patch. I'll probably be going over some of the other ones because uh, plasma burster missiles got a buff and it is <laughs> it's pretty scary now. And it, it, as a lot of people pointed out, it might get nerfed after <laughs> the buff. They didn't buff it immensely, but enough. Thank you, Bosco. Let's put that away. Oh, Stingtail, I think. Um, we tried. Oh no, it's a. Uh, one of these. <laughs> and it gets popped with Double Barrel too. The other funny thing about this change is that. Since Double Barrel got buffed, that inadvertently buffs Giga Chad build. Sort of. Not really, but a little bit. Because Giga Chad build, you usually went 
full damage on. And if you still went full damage with this, it would be a little bit better for crowd control. It still wouldn't be amazing. But it would be a little bit better. Huh. Well, I'm three for three with not getting them. And uh, a horde coming at us. Oh, let's try this. Yep. Still deletes that. Although, maybe it did that before. Let's, just, let's try a guard. Very high damage to a guard. Very high damage to this little crowd. Yes. Oh. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Alright. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm actually liking Double Barrel, which I honestly never thought that I would say, because Double Barrel was always... Like I said at the start, it was kind of a punching bag. It was easy to point out saying that this is not a great overclock. I still don't think it's going to be the strongest overclock for the double barrel, but hey, at least it has some use now. And if you really like running and gunning, if you really hate crowds, this might be one of the best options for you. Because you could take this, plus you could take um, aggressive venting on the drac. Alright, let's see if I can go three for three with eggs. I'm going to go for this one. Bosco's going for another one. Oh, I didn't go three for three. Oh. <laughs> we got both swarms. How fun. Alright, well, I've got a resupply down here. Let's see how this works out then. Yeah. Again, bring forth the bugs. Use the double barrel to clear up the swarm. <laughs> oh. Alright, this is awesome. Blast and stuff. Blast them. Time to fight a point blank range. <laughs> Until I run out of health and gotta run away. All fun and games until that happens. I'm gonna grab like a resupply. Yeah. I'm not dead. Just nearly dead. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't do enough damage there. Bosco, res me! Oh, that's great. The wave is thinning out. Did you hear that, Bosco? Basically, everything's dead already. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. I also never thought that Blast Wave would actually be really good. Because usually Blast Wave got severely outshined by the uh, extra pellets that you could have. Maybe not as much now. Well, at least with Double Barrel. Alright, and that should be our last egg up there. Let's see, can we catch it? Bosco, toss it to me. Oh no! <laughs> Hmm. There's so many septic spreaders now. They killed Steve! No. Oh, I just think that. Blast it with double barrel. Blast it again. I love this new Stingtail. He's pretty cool. He might need some extra HP, though. Because he's kind of squishy. He's not too hard to kill, especially if you're armor breaking on your weapon. But other than that, he's really well designed. I like the way that he can grab you. He's not super frustrating to fight, and he just has a really cool looking design in my opinion. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna get out of here relatively fast, too. Yeah, so that is the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that is the new double barrel. 
It is actually pretty decent. Again, a weird statement. It's mostly going to be used for crowd control. But that's okay if you have a primary weapon that is good for single target damage, which Scout has quite a few primary weapons that are good for that. You can go with AI Stability Engine, you could go with Super Cooling Chamber, Hipster's always a choice, because, yeah, okay, <laughs> it does work well against tri Jaws too, because Hipster works well with everything. I guess Hipster did technically get nerfed, sort of, in Season 4, but then it got buffed because the M1000 in general got buffed, so... <laughs> it didn't really lose much. Basically, it was like Hipster's rate of fire got nerfed slightly, but then they inc they increased the base rate of fire for it. So another buff to the Giga Chad build, kind of, but not really. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to make Giga Chad an actual legit build. 177, one down. Yeah, only 13 minutes. That was actually a super fast mission. And Double Barrel, I think, did the majority of those kills. 